Uh, thank you for coming today. Um, I'm here to provide an update regarding the murder of Simon Middleton that occurred on the 8th of March at Brady Street at Virginia. At about 2.53am on the 8th of March, South Australian Ambulance and Police responded to reports a man had been shot in Brady Street at Virginia. <clears throat> on arrival at that location, uh, police and ambulance located a 49-year-old -year man who was deceased at the scene that person we now know to be Simon Middleton. Simon's death has been declared a major crime and is currently being investigated by the Major Crime Investigation Branch with support of the Northern District CLB. <clears throat> On the 8th of March, members from Major Crime Friends Response Northern Districts attended to examine the scene and undertook further investigation. That investigation has continued until today and that investigation is proceeding extremely well. To date, we can say that we believe that Simon was the target of a <clears throat> targeted execution style murder on that day. We've seized a lot of CT a large amount of CCTV evidence, which we have analysed, and that is around the scene and in the wider Virginia area. What we can tell you is that at about 1.43 a.m. on the 8th of March, CCTV has identified that a 1998 Nissan Patrol with South Australian registration, WDA262, is actually seen travelling north on Phineas Street at Virginia. At that time, the vehicle stops, it drops a man off, and that man, we believe, walks east through a church towards Leach Street. At about 1.52am, CCTV identifies that Simon was then shot near the corner of Leach Street and Brady Street. The investigation has led us to believe that the premises where Simon was shot had been under surveillance prior to that shooting occurring. We are aware that a number of people have been involved in the planning of that murder and the commission of this offence. It's believed that that location, that one man has engaged Simon in a conversation when another man has appeared and then shot him at that location. One man is then seen to run north. Sorry, I repeat that. One man is then seen to run south on Leach Street, followed by a second man who also runs south on Leach Street at that time. One man is then seen to run back north on Leach Street and then run northeast into the extension of Brady Street and it's sort of alongside of business premises. At this time, we're not willing to discuss the motive regarding this murder as it will form part of the evidence. And today, we've searched eight premises and seized seven vehicles um, with those investigations continuing. We're aware that people have knowledge of Simon's murder and the background in relation to his murder. We're seeking any people or any persons for them to come forward and do the right thing by Simon's family and actually explain to us what's occurred on this night and also advise the police what the background is to this particular murder. We're also seeking assistance from the public with anyone that saw anyone acting suspiciously around Brady Street and Leach Street at Virginia around the time of the murder. We're also seeking anyone that saw the white Nissan Patrol um, with South Australian registration WDA 262 in the broader Virginia or in those streets between 11 p.m. on the 7th of March and 3 a.m. on the 8th of March. That Nissan Patrol also has a rear broken left tail light, which helps identify that vehicle. We're also seeking dash cam footage from that area um, during those same time frames, so between 11 p.m. on the 7th and 3 a.m. on the 8th of March. I encourage anyone with knowledge or any information that leads up to the events, and in particular in relation to Simon's murder, and I ask anyone that has information to ring Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000, 
and we'll have major crime detectives available to speak to those persons between 5 pm and 9 pm tonight. I'll now take any questions. Was there any arrest from today's um, searches, and where were those searches carried out? No, the eight searches relate to previous activity. There's been no searches undertaken today. Though. And the um, owner of that Nissan Patrol? Yes. Do you know the owner of, that, of well, that car? We do know the owner of the Nissan Patrol. We've seized that Nissan Patrol. But what I will say is there is a number of people to date that have provided accounts to police, which we don't think are full and correct accounts as to their knowledge and or involvement in this offence. Is that car dumped somewhere or did you go to the premises of the owner? No, we uh, seized that from the premises of the owner. And so the plates that are on that car are the correct plates for that car? Yes, they are. And where was that car seized? So it was seized in the northern suburbs. In Virginia? No. That wasn't the one, one of the ones seized from the same? No, it was not. You said it was an execution style murder. Can you give yes. us a bit more detail on what it is that makes you think that? Okay. Um, due to the nature of the investigation where it's at currently, we will say that it is an ex execution style murder, but we won't discuss that any further at present whilst the investigation is ongoing. The drugs involved? Um, that is one avenue we're looking at, but most likely not. You say that you won't discuss the motive, so does that mean that you know what the motive is, but you're not just prepared to reveal that at the moment, or you um, don't know the motive? No, we believe we do have a motive, but we can't clearly determine that the correct motive, that is the correct motive, and we need to maintain an open mind, like with any of these investigations, to ensure that what we're thinking is correct. Do you, do you know that least two suspect? people? Beg your pardon? Do you have a prime suspect? Uh, there are a number of suspects in this matter. As I stated, uh, we have two men captured on CCTV on the night of the offence. We also believe that there are other people involved in the planning and the commission of this offence. So you've identified who those two men are? Though. No, the CCTV in itself cannot identify who those persons are. But what I will say is uh, the investigation is continuing really well where their intention is to identify those persons. Is Simon known to where that gun shot woman was? S sorry? Can you tell us where that gun shot woman was? Yeah, no, we won't comment this at this stage. Was Simon known to police? Simon was known to police. Um, <clears throat> but that being the case, no one actually deserves to die in the manner in which Simon's died on this night. And we won't be discussing his history uh, any further at present. Do you believe you knew the people that attacked him? Um, as I said, it's a targeted attack, and we do believe he knows who murdered him on that night, yes. Is the person who was detained at the scene um, considered a suspect? Uh, what I'll say it would be um, unreasonable for me to actually identify who any of the suspects are in the investigation, and at this time I won't discuss who the suspects are. There's been uh, particularly one person who, through media, has outed himself almost. Is that person a, a suspect? As I said, it's not appropriate for me at this time to discuss who any of the suspects are in the investigation. Is Simon a father? Um, he is a father but I won't um, discuss his family history at this time. But would you call that a particularly, I mean, I know murder is, is not brutal, but brazen, would you consider, is it point black range, and how, how close did they get to, to the to sign? <clears throat> I would say um, that the murder was planned, it was targeted, and they went there with the intention of causing serious harm or murdering Simon on that night. How should the people of Virginia feel that they're still potentially murderers, um, or whether should they be worried or...? Oh, I, th I think they should have confidence in the police. Uh, the investigation, as I said, is progressing extremely well and uh, we would anticipate that we will get an outcome uh, for this investigation. So if they, these people are watching at home tonight, what's your message to them, these people that you are pretty sure did this crime? As I stated earlier, I'd say to anyone that's involved in this offence, they have the opportunity to come and speak to the police. They have the opportunity to actually give a full account and a truthful account of what occurred on that night. And if anyone out there wishes to approach the police, we're more than willing to speak to them and discuss what's occurred in relation to Simon's death. How long do you think that was about a matter of days or weeks? Yeah, that's unknown. All we can say is that currently we believe that they, the premises had been under surveillance at the time prior to the murder. I have a 